Revelation 21 And I saw a new sky and a new earth, for the first sky and the first earth are passed away, and the sea is no more. And the holy city Yerushalem was new, I saw, coming down out of the sky from the God, having been prepared as a bride adorned for her man. And I heard a great voice out of the throne, saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the God is with men, and he shall tabernacle with them, and they shall be his people, and the God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And he shall wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more, neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more. The first things are passed away. And he that sitteth on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he saith, Write that these things, write that these words are faithful and true. And he said to me, They are become. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give to him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit these things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But for the fearful, and unbelieving, and abominable, and murderers, and sexual sinners, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars, their part shall be in the lake that burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death. And there came one of the seven messengers, who had the seven bowls, who were laden with the seven last plagues. And he spake with me, saying, Come hither, I will show thee the bride, the woman of the Lamb. And he carried me away in the spirit to a, great, to a mountain great and high, and showed me the holy city, Yerushalem, coming down out of the sky from the God, having the glory of the God. Her light was like a stone, most precious, as it were a jasper stone, clear as crystal, having a great wall and high, having a wall great and high, having twelve gates, and at the twelve gates... At, and at the gates twelve messengers, and names written thereon, which are the names of the, tro the twelve tribes of the children of Yisrael. On the east were three gates, and on the north three gates, and on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. And the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and on them twelve names of the twelve sent ones of the Lamb. And he that spake with me had a measure, had for a measure a golden reed to measure the city and the gates thereof, and the wall thereof, and the city lieth foursquare, and the length thereof is as great as the breadth. And he measured the city with the reed, twelve thousand stadia, the length and the breadth and the height thereof are equal. And he measured the wall thereof, a hundred and forty and four cubits, according to the measure of a man, that is, of a messenger. And the building of the wall thereof was jasper, and the city was pure gold, like pure glass. The foundations of the wall of the city were adorned with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third, Chalcedony, the fourth, Emerald, the fifth, Sardonyx, the sixth, Sardius, the seventh, Chrysolite, the eighth, Beryl, the ninth, Topaz, the tenth, Chrysopras, the eleventh, Jacinth, the twelfth, Amethyst, and the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Each one of the several gates was of one pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold, as it were transparent glass. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord Yahweh the God of for the Lord Yahweh the God the Almighty and the Lamb are the temple thereof.
and the city hath no need of the sun, neither of the moon to shine upon it. For the glory of the God did lighten it, and the lamp thereof is the Lamb. And the nation shall walk amidst the light thereof, and the kings of the earth bring their glory into it. And the gates thereof shall certainly not be shut by day, for there shall be no night there. And they shall bring the glory and the honour of the nations into it. And there shall, there shall certainly not into, there shall certainly not enter into it anything unclean or one effectuating abomination and falsehood, but only they that are written in the Lamb's book of life. Here endeth Revelation chapter twenty-one. Thanks for listening, Yahweh. Bless you.